main keynote speaker today and along with him Dr. M. Chibakova from Madhuri Kamaraj University, India and uh, Dr. A. Mohammed Moidin sir is here. Okay. Then Dr. B. Bhavana Bhav is here and Dr. C. Anita from Karnataka State of India. So these are the keynote speakers will be there. So every speaker is going to get 10 minutes only. So kindly plan the speech accordingly. Uh, now, as you could see, the topic is very important. It is relevant particularly to academicians. The topic is publishing in high quality journals. What do editors expect from you? I have reviewed over 200 to 250 articles in my journey as a conference Sorry, organizer. Sorry, and also, can we put the screen a little bit up? So now, one of the problems that academicians face is pressure to public publish. Pressure to publish is it has so many meanings and interpretations. But what the regulators or the accreditation committees accept from the academicians to publish is a very, very difficult question to be answered. It's not that you write a paper and you publish it in any journal. It's not accepted. You have to ask certain pertinent questions whether what I'm publishing, the literature that I'm adding, the knowledge that I'm sharing with people is relevant and it addresses the problem of a society. That's one part. I'm not saying it is very important. But they are very keen about this. As uh, Professor Amitabh sir mentioned, like I'm taking one more box. I have published, I'm eligible for a promotion, and I have done my job. Now you do your job, promote me to the next. That's one part. But we are we are think tank. We are knowledge workers. So what is the value addition we are making to the society? What is the new knowledge we are giving to people that matters? Let me go to the basic question. What is research? Sir, this is true, you are attending conferences and you are asking us, what is research? There are so many definitions to the term research. But to understand it in the simplest possible way, we can say, you know, identifying and analyzing the problems confronting a business or society and addressing it, solving it. So you identify a problem, you analyze a problem. Remember, each one has very in-depth aspects. Identifying the problem itself will take a lot of time. Is it a societal problem, an economic problem, a government problem, or a labor problem, or something? There are so many problems. The society has a lot of problems. Identify the problem. Analyze the problem. Now, analyzing the problem, it again has a lot of, lot of meanings. How do you analyze? Then we go back to like identifying the data, the data analysis, the sampling, and using questionnaire method or interview method. And it should be scientifically. You have to analyze it scientifically. When you analyze a parametric test I'm going to apply or non-parametric test I'm going to use, you know, <laughs> there are so many, so many aspects to that. And it gives solution to the problem. The solution that you are giving may be correct, may not be correct. Only time will tell you. And like-minded academicians are the business people to whom ultimately our research goes. They will say, yes, it's a fantastic solution to your current problem. Correct or not? So, are we doing this is a question. Just for ticking a box, if you are publishing, it's not going to work. Again, another definition says, making an original contribution to the existing stock of knowledge to make for its advancement. Remember, I underline the word. To make an original, a systematic inquiry Correct? A systematic inquiry to make an original contribution. It has a lot of meaning. Why I am 
emphasizing, underlining this word original contribution with a lot of paraphrasing software available, you get one base paper and you can do anything. It's not going to work. Okay? So making an original contribution is very systematic inquiry is important. And after your contribution, that particular field should have improved because you are adding new knowledge to the existing literature. Is it happening? I'm not going to give many definitions, but these two definitions should throw more light on these aspects. So this is the core issue. Now, when you are publishing, it should be Scopus indexed, people say. Australian Business Dean's Council is indexing. There are so many available, which is reliable, which is not reliable. Where to publish, it's a big pressure. And there are so many fly-by-night operators, overnight also they will publish. I don't want to make a mention of that. Even the so-called reputed publishers, you send today and you pay money today, next day it is published. But there are a lot of questions to be asked, yes or no? Is there, is a, is there a scientific rigor? Is there a peer review process? What is the business model with which they are operating? Is it for making money, profit making purpose, or they want to do it uh, to, to improve the knowledge of the society, knowledge to academicians as well as the industry? So what is, what, are the, what is the composition of the editorial boards? Is there any opinion difference between the editorial board members? If it is sent for blind, is it going for blind review? What is the first author saying? What is the second author saying? Is the sanctity maintained? Or you pay money, we'll do that. So all these questions have to be asked. Is it done in a very transparent, open manner? So these are all very, very important. Pressure is there. That doesn't mean we get into neighbor's house and steal something. It's not accepted. Correct or not? So the business model is important. The peer review process is important. And I'm not so particular about the ranking because even the ranked journals also have a lot of loopholes. We have understood this. But at the end of the day, how we ourselves are doing it religiously, we are doing it with you know an openness that matters a lot. Okay? Now let me go on. This is from an editor's perspective. Having reviewed more than 200, 300 articles, I have gained some insights and knowledge. And I'm very happy to share those. And please talk to me wherever you have you know, some inquiry or questions. Research is formalized curiosity. It's poking and prying with a purpose. This research bent of mind is absolutely necessary. Otherwise, you are not making original contribution. Right? So that is also yes. Now, normal in the normal way when we talk about what an editor expects. Is there a structure? So structure now when we organize a speech, what do we do? You are a competent communicator. He is organized. Everybody is a competent communicator. We are all teachers. What do we do? One side, what we, we plan is what we say, how we say, correct or not? What we say is the content. And how we say is the modulation and giving, you know, weightage to individual words, your, your, your vocal variety. So 80% content, 20% delivery. In other words, I can say content and delivery. That's for a speech. I'm a Toastmaster, basically. A completed, competent communicator, competent leadership, advanced communicator, advanced. So nobody, whoever is a Toastmaster will understand this. Now, please make sure that this is not, this is kind of a ready-made shirt. It will finish here, it may not be so. But you have to adjust it, modify it, according to your requirements. This is a generally acceptable model, which we have. Is there interaction? Are the objectives clearly defined? 
Is there a theoretical background, literature? Is there a methodology? And I, this is a general structure. Even for PhD, this is the structure. Journal paper will slightly modify and change. So you identify a problem and you are conceiving an idea and you are trying to structure your paper. It will undergo a lot of transformation changes as we move on, but the general structure remains. So the structure is important. More important is content. More important is content. Is there a, is the idea of novel? Is it creating a wow factor? Oh wow, something new, very interesting, very important. So like this, are you trying to address the current problem? Are you trying to contribute something new to the society? And the problem helpful to the industry. At the end of the day, please uh, remember, institution, industry, interaction is very important. Whatever research work you and I do, ultimately it reaches the industry. They are the people who are going to pay you. MIT Sloan Management Research says, out of 10 new ideas, only one is commercially successful. You take Merck or any Bacard or you take Pfizer, they are all pumping a lot of billions of dollars to do research. But it's every new idea, is every new innovation is going to be commercially successful? No, only 10%. Which means the money spent on 90% of the projects is ultimately a failure. <coughs> it's kind of Eureka, Eureka kind of a scenario. Not every idea you have, not every novel thinking you have, it leads to some new innovation. It's impossible. Correct or not? So, to get gold, you have to dig and remove a lot of dirt. Then you can extract gold. Correct or not? So that, that inquisitive mind, you know, is very important. Novelty and relevance, coherence, how it is organized, and the contribution, language, first sentence and second sentence, no connectivity. There is something called smooth transition from one paragraph to another, one sentence to another. As an editor, I have seen several times that there is abrupt jumping in the structure, the way people are... See, you are selling a product. When you are submitting an article, you are selling a product. And it should inspire minds. People should get, oh, this is really very good, something novel. I have never heard of this. The idea is new. Are you creating that sense of curiosity? That's what editors want. And quite often people say, sir, I have sent a lot of hard work, a lot of labor gone in its 45 pages of research work, but you are not publishing, sir. Because two reviewers, anonymous reviewers, reject the paper. Or one accepts, the other one doesn't accept. And the reasoning they give is very logical. It convinces the editor. People mistake us, no, that journal is useless. We are sending it, but they are not accepting. That's not the case. You should have the basic requirements met. If you don't have that, do not blame someone. Don't shoot the messenger. This is the important aspect every publisher should keep in mind. Yeah. So, language and presentation. Again, again they are asking, sir, how many pages? Ideally, how do you suggest? So I've seen seven pages, six pages presentations. I've also seen 40 pages, 50 pages. But my simple suggestion to you guys is make it long enough to sustain reading. You will keep the interest alive. You can make 50 pages, 70 pages, 80 pages, no problem. But you are able to sustain it. Oh, what is this? Next page, next page. Keep it shorter enough to deliver the content, to include the content. You made it only 8 pages, but the major component the main contribution is not formed. So it should be, you, you, that's the rule you should have. Yes, it's 40 pages, 50 pages, but you are able to retain the reader with you. It's shorter, but you convey, you convey the message. That's what an editor is looking at. And these questions, does this paper advance the field? Is it important? Original, again and again and again you are seeing originality. It's like you just go to internet, you search, same paper comes. How will an editor, a sensible editor, 
accept it? It will not. Does it follow ethical standards? Again, this is also important. So normally, now let me come to the structure. I don't want to repeat again because we have already discussed. So the brief profile of company, or I'm, I'm, I'm focusing more on social science research, business research. I think most of you are from the business segment, except a few. Now, do we have all this? Statement of the problem, rationale, research questions. Because unless you have a destination clearly defined, where are you heading for? Unfortunately, currently what happens is, oh, we are trying to analyze, identify, and solve this problem. You move on, at one stage you realize you made a mistake, then what we do, you cannot give up your research. What we do is, we try to reach this destination, solve this problem, but couldn't. But we had this journey, we came here, accept it. Nobody will accept it. So this is also relevant. Hypothesis, research gap. See, unless there is a gap, unless there is a problem, there is an issue, what are you going to research? What are you going to contribute? Maybe it's not for theoretical research, that's not applicable. 80%, 90% of the cases, you have to make sure that these issues are there. Okay? And these aspects are... And organized paper organization is very important. It should be, there must be a smooth flow. And again, finally, when you are, when you are, you are reviewing the case and you, you are articulating, when you are articulating your point, make sure that it's original contribution and it has not been, it's not a beaten track, I'll put it like this. It's not a beaten track. And I have verified, I have checked the previous contributions in the literature and the mind is different. Are you able to establish this? That's also important. So these are the issues. No research carried out in this area. The work is an unresolved issue. So all these things, you know. Now I'm going to more interesting part now. This thing. What editors and the paper reviewers, peer reviewers, and it's a real time comment because I had the privilege of running journals, even now I review. These are real-time comments, you see. Make sure you don't get to these comments. They ask very basic questions. And it's a clean, bold scenario. So you have to ensure this. Now, how experts comment? Introduction does not catch the attention of the readers. The first paragraph when you read, you come to an idea, what is this? Not appealing. So are you able to impress people in the first slide itself? These are all real-time comments I just cut out from the review reports people have given. It's, it's, it's very helpful for you. Introduction is not clear and should be improved. A well-defined research question, unfortunately, is missing. What are we trying to solve? Background of the study is not established. Objectives appear hazy. Means the cloud is not clear. It, it confuses. And these are all real time comments, uh, folks. You are able to address this, no? Okay, now moving on. Rational significance of the study has not been, has not been established. Look at the last comment. This is really damaging. What do they say? The manuscript should be organized much more professionally. We are all professionals. We should prove, establish that we are professionals. And, and remember, quality is uh, never an accident. Quality is never an accident. It is always, always the result of intelligent, Assiduous and sustained hard work. And the comments peer reviewers are giving you, giving you, is to inspire you, not to intimidate you. Have that end of mind. Yes, I got it. There is a, there is a, maybe serious issues or minor issues. Always there must be scope for improvements. Now, 
Welcome to the literature review, how they are connected. Dr. Prakash, excuse me, I'll take another five minutes only. Okay? Now, when you move,